everyone, so today I'm going to be testing Primark makeup. So I went to Primark and picked up a bunch of things. Hopefully the colours are right and stuff. Especially for the foundation, so I kind of guessed the foundation shade and the powder shade. So we'll see how it all goes. So if you'd like to know if Primark makeup is any good, then carry on watching. Also, if you're wondering where my top is from, it's from ASOS. So I will try and link it in the description below. I'm going to start off with the PS Liquid Foundation Medium Coverage Semi Matte Finish Oil Free Formula. I got this in the shade Chestnut and it was £2.50. Squeeze some on the back of my hand. Oh, gosh, it's really, really dark. You probably can't see but this is definitely not my skin tone oh my gosh okay this literally looks like i'm putting chocolate on my face it really isn't the right shade this is not a good start to the video so let's blend this in oh no guys oh no oh no So it's kind of blendable, but it's a little bit patchy. Okay, oh my, okay, so it actually looks a lot better now that I've blended it into my skin. It's still a completely different shade to my what I would normally wear, but it's not too bad. So coverage-wise, it really hasn't covered up a lot to be honest. Um, like you can still see the redness here and yeah it doesn't give a lot of coverage but what i do like is how it really glowy look but it's matte it's pretty much matte which i actually really like i really like this definitely gets lighter um the more you blend into your skin so yeah that's really good and if i'm gonna be honest i would actually wear this foundation out and not worry about it because it looks really good on the skin i got a light concealer so i got it in the shade sand and Primark actually have a pretty good shade range, but this is what it looks like. It's very stiff to do that. Oh my god, I already don't like this. It's not that easy to blend. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not a huge fan of this at all. It really hasn't covered up anything either, so you can still see like my under eyes. I feel like I just added a layer of nothing basically and it just looks cakey. And now I'm going to be setting my face with some powder. This is the Mattifying Press Powder in the shade Sand and this was £2. Ooh, very pigmented, I do quite like this. Guys, this is a such this is such a good powder. It kind of blurs out like your pores and stuff, which I think is really cool. This gives you a little bit more coverage because it's a coloured powder. And I'm not going to lie, it's actually good. Really not that bad at all. It's literally like my other powders I have. Move on to contour. So bronzer, contour, whatever. Um, so I picked up the Mattifying Pressed Powder. This is also basically meant to be like a face powder. But I've got it in the shade Chestnut. So yeah, I'm going to use this to bronze up my face. Eyes. But it's so pigmented, oh my days. This is more pigmented than the bourgeois powder. This is so good. Like I'm seriously impressed. Like I'm in, I'm in a little bit of shock here. I'm really excited about this. I want to see if it's any good because it's a pound. So it's a eyebrow pencil. It comes with a spoolie on one end, then the pencil on the other end. I got mine in the shade dark, and it was one pound. Gosh, guys, look at this. Very creamy. I'm gonna like do a little bit and then like brush it out because it's just so creamy that like product is like sticking together. It's really, really weird. I'm not a fan of this at all to be honest. It's giving me okay brows, but it's really hard to kind of make your brows natural because it like sticks your brows together. It's really thick and really creamy. It's good that they give you the spoolie to kind of brush the product out a little bit. It kind of it. Okay, yeah, so I don't think I'd ever use this again, to be honest. It's just not that great. Okay, so for eyeshadow, I'm excited to try this out. So I picked up this little eyeshadow palette. It has nine eyeshadows in it. It's 
I don't really think this has a colour, but what drew me to this is, can you guess which shade drew me to this palette? This one here. So I'm going to try and create a matte look, sort of quite simple. To, I don't know, there's not much you can do from this. But I'm going to start off with this shade here, just in the crease. It's the fourth eyeshadow in the palette. I don't even know if it's showing up or not, I honestly can't tell. And then I'm going to apply this pinky mauve shade. I have a question for you all. Um, does anyone watch House of Anubis? Well, did anyone used to watch House of Anubis? Because if you didn't know, it's on Netflix and I've watched it like five times already but and it's a Nickelodeon TV show but it's like set in England and it's like Egyptian history like a mystery like thing and they have to try and find like the treasure it sounds really boring but I swear it's so funny um and yeah it's just really good and the acting is so bad I just think it's hilarious yeah that's what I've done so far with the eyes it kind of looks really messy but it's really hard to work with these eyeshadows um, I'm gonna go with a little bit of this purple, which is interesting. So let's. This is the look I've ended up with. I'm just going to apply some of that same pinky shade, like on my lash line. Okay, so that is the eyes. Not too bad, to be honest. Um, I'm gonna try. I'm so excited to test this. So this is the tip eyeliner pen and this, this was £1.50. That is so good. Recommend this to everyone. Even if you don't feel like you could ever buy makeup from Primark just get this because it's seriously so good and it's so cheap like so easy to use as well like normally I stay away from these sort of nibs because they're just quite short and they're not like as precise on the end but so easy to use to mascara I'm, I'm not expecting great things from this mascara to be honest somehow I knew it was gonna be a one like this it's just a very classic one I don't think I'd ever use this mascara again because it's pretty much crap. So, and um, yeah, so yeah, not a fan of that. Um, for a powder, not too bad, but still, it's not great at all. Okay, so now for the two lip options. The first lip option is like a nude kind of lip. So it's in the shade Marsala. insane and it's a really good lipstick like look how pigmented it is it's insane yeah it's like a bright pinkish sort of shade the second lip option is a red lip so i'm going to be taking this lip liner but it's just their red lip liner looks like I have a really high-end lipstick on at the moment and I've literally used a one pound lip liner from Primark so these are pretty insane they're really creamy not drying on your lips at all they're really good and I just love this lip color I think it's so cool so this lipstick here and um, this is in the shade movie star and again I bought this quite a while ago and I've never worn this out but This is the final look with my Primark makeup products. I really hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. So I loved everything that I tried out in this video, except from three things, which was the concealer, the eyebrow pencil, and the mascara. I'm never gonna use these again, um, because they're just really not good. And they didn't really work for me. They might work for some of you guys. And I seriously love the bronzer. Um, let me know if you're gonna try any of these products out. And if you're new, make sure you do subscribe because I upload pretty frequently and yeah yeah bye guys